In today's video, we're going to talk about the ABO blood group system. So, as some of you might already know, there are four different blood types or blood group types within this ABO system of blood groups. You can get people who are blood group A, you can get people who are blood group B, people who are blood group AB, and people who are blood group O. Now, what distinguishes whether a person is blood group A or blood group B? How does it work? So, if you can imagine a red blood cell or an er erythrocyte, which is in the blood. This is a pretty rubbish drawing, but just bear with me. Okay, so this is a red blood cell. Now, on the cell surface of these red blood cells are proteins. Now, these proteins, we can call them antigens. Now, if a person is blood group A, this means that they have the antigen A on the cell surface of the red blood cells. If a person is blood group B, this means they have the B antigen on the cell surface of the erythrocytes. People who are blood group AB have both A antigens and B antigens as well on the cell surface of the red blood cells. Now, people who are blood group O, they don't have, oops, they don't have antigen A or antigen B on the cell surface of the red blood cells, but they have different antigens. Now, another thing to also note is people who are blood group A, they'll have the antigen A on the red blood cells, but in the blood itself, they'll also have antibodies against antigen B and these will be called an anti B antibodies people who are blood group B in their blood they'll have antibodies against antigen A called anti A uh, antibodies people who are blood group AB since they have both antigen A and antigen B on the cell surface of their red blood, red blood cells they don't have any antibodies against antigen A and antigen B. If they did, then it would cause it, they'd attack the red blood cells. And people who are blood group O, since they don't have any antigen A or antigen B on the red blood cells, they have both anti-A and anti-B antibodies within the blood. Now, so another thing to note, more specifically towards people who are blood group A, B, and people who are blood group O is that people who are blood group O for example they are known as universal donators of blood now this is because their red blood cells they don't have antigen A or antigen B on their red blood cells so when it's donated to another blood group for example A or B there aren't any well the antibodies within that blood group which you're transferring it to the antibodies aren't going to attack the the red blood cells which are from the O blood group because there's no anti antigen A or antigen B so the antibodies in the other blood group they won't attack it I know some people are saying hang on people who are blood group O themselves in their blood they have antibodies A and antibodies B against the A and B antigens but what happens is when you are transfusing the blood they do certain checks to measure the amount of anti-A uh, anti or anti-B antibodies within the person's blood who is blood group O and they don't transfuse people who have a strong amount of antibody A and antibody B sorry anti-A or anti-B so they do certain checks and plus it's only a very small amount of anti-A antibodies or anti-B antibodies within the blood the blood plasma itself so it's never going to be a really big amount to make that much of a difference but in most cases it's usually um, accepted by the receiving end this is why they're known as the universal donors however people who are blood group AB they are known as universal receivers or recipients because they don't have their blood does not discriminate against they don't attack any other blood group type when it's coming in 
or transfusing inside the body because they don't have antibodies against anti A. So they don't have anti A antibodies or anti B antibodies. So whatever blood is transfused, it will usually, in most cases, be accepted. So this is the basics behind the blood group system. On, and more specifically the ABO system if you have any questions at all please write them below I've been getting a lot of views from all over the world and I really do appreciate it so thank you for watching please like and comment yeah it really mean a lot to me so thanks a lot for watching take care bye bye